guys welcome back so today is wedding Wednesday you know what that means we're going to be talking about our wedding uh, the wedding is coming up in 10 weeks from today that is 77 days and today is actually Sunday so a few days before wedding Wednesday and today I'm going to the hair salon where I'm going to be getting my hair done and we're doing updo like hair trial so I'm hoping that the stylist or the salon will let me record in there if they will great I will show you next the next clip you see will be me getting my hair done but I will show you like the jewelry and the hair accessories and the veil and all that good stuff today I'm actually just going to be doing my makeup like that's why I don't have any makeup on um kind of I'm, I'm aiming to like pinpoint exactly which products I want to use on the wedding day and I bought this little train case at Target and it was actually really cheap so that was pretty cool um, where I'm actually going to be doing my makeup over not at home on the day of the wedding so I wanted to downsize all my products fit into this little train case so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now okay so this is the little box it's by Caboodle from Target I don't know what it's called but this is it it was like 20 or 30 dollars at Target and you just open the top and it looks like this and then each of these folds out to be this and then you still have like down inside the caboodle and what I thought was really cool is it came with this um, card here that says personalized nameplate offer and Caboodle's product registration so what you can do is you can have Caboodle like write your name on there's like a nameplate I think this is it and there's keys so you can lock it and it'll like say your name on it and stuff I thought that was really neat so anyway basically my goal is to get everything into this for the day of the wedding anything that I might need not just makeup but like touch up stuff and anything like that that I might need I'm just gonna take this one kit let my hairstylist do her magic plus obviously like the jewelry and hair accessories my veil shoes things like that but as far as beauty products go though so that has to include my skincare I plan on leaving the house like kind of around 9 a.m. and we're not actually getting married till 4 p.m. so I need to have enough in my bag to like get me through the day all the way till 10 p.m. when we're kicked out of the venue so anyway let's get on to the hairstyle so you guys can see and all right guys, I just finished my makeup. I do want to do a, oops, my lashes are coming up right here. I do want to do a tutorial on this. Um, it's very similar to what I did for the engagement photos and the engagement party uh, makeup, very similar, but I did use today the Lancome Audacity palette. All right, it's happening here at the salon. So, these are the hair accessories. This one has like little clips. And then this one. Not so curly, but more of that wave. Mm -hmm. We'll see if we could get that. Mm -hmm. So we're in process. enjoyed seeing the hairstyles um, just a few other updates for the wedding so we have sent out our invitations and the RSVPs have started coming in and people are telling us if they want beef or chicken so that's pretty exciting we won't be able to do the seating charts and everything like that until after we get all the RSVPs back so it could be a little while uh, I did buy Ben a ring we went to uh, I went to a different jewelry shop and found one that was a good price so um, I went ahead and bought that I brought it home and it was too small so I had to take it back today actually when I was at the mall for my hair appointment and I had to order another size. They don't carry half sizes in store so the size that I got for Ben originally was too small. I wanted to go up to the half size. Now I have to order it so it won't be back for a couple weeks. 
He doesn't need it till the wedding day anyway, so that's not a big deal. Um, we did get the chargers ordered, the um, gold, like the big gold plates that are going to sit on the table. Since the dinner's plated, as I've said, like there would be no plate on the table until the waiter came out and served you the food. So um, my future mother-in-law actually ordered the gold chargers to go on the tables. So it'll be a black tablecloth with a gold sequin like runner stripped down the round table, and then gold big round plates at each place setting. And then when they bring out your plate, it'll be white down the center. So that's exciting. Um, I finished getting the jewelry for the bridesmaids, and I even got my own jewelry, which you just saw. That was what I had on in the hair trial. We actually only ended up trying one hairstyle, but the difference is, okay, so she had my hair parted to the side, kind of like it is now, but she wants to part it next time, like when we actually do it, she made notes that she wants to part it even deeper to the side, like even more on the heavy on one side. And then the other side she's going to make super curly. Like this part would be a lot tighter curls. And then this part, since it has more hair on it, since we parted it deeper, will be a little bigger. So she'll be able to make this part stand a little taller and this part a little bit more curly. And that's exciting. Um, I am going to get a haircut and um, color my hair one more time before the wedding, probably in November. But um, I'm not going to see the hairstylist again until then. So, kind of exciting. I made appointments for my uh, bridesmaids to get their hair done. And um, so they're going to be getting their hair done the same morning as I am in the same building. And the um, stylist actually, she does the hair and makeup usually, but I'm only having her do my hair. And she's like, I really want to see when a dark, darker lip. And so she went in her kit and she got like a uh, redder lip. So if you notice in the footage, I have like no lipstick and then I added my mauve, mauve pinky lipstick. And then towards the end of some of the footage, you might see that I'm wearing a red lip. She wanted to see the makeup because I had my makeup done somewhat like I'm going to do it on the wedding day. She's like, I really want to see you in a red lip because, you know, the 1920s was a lot about red lips. I'm like, all right, what the heck? So I tried it and I actually really liked it. So now I'm on the hunt for a perfect red lip. Of course, I went across the street to the Ulta right by the mall. They were out of the one she used. It was actually a NYX, um, NYX round lipstick tube in like snow white red or something snow white. Um, yeah, they were out of that one. That was the only one of, that they were out of it. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. But, um, so now I'm kind of looking into, like, maybe slightly darker mauve with, like, some plum and red mixed in. I don't know. I'm still playing with the lip idea. And, you know, I asked her for a makeup recommendation since I'm not going to be paying her $50 to do my makeup. You guys know I can do my own. But I did go to Ulta for it, and I got a ton of, like, foundation samples because I'm still searching for that perfect foundation for my wedding day. I also got like a treatment that's going to um, remove the dead skin around my nose. It's by Ren. It's $48. So I'm going to try it. I got a sample before I go and review it and everything. I just, I feel like all of the foundations that I have um, would look better on my skin if I could just get that finished. And just simple exfoliation doesn't seem to last me, but like a day. And then that dead skin's back. I don't know what is going on with my face, but <laughs> that's just what it is. Um, but yeah, she recommended for my makeup to be doing, um, cause like right now I did a little bit of black in the outer eye and she said she wants to see like, like browns instead of any black and, um, thicker liner with bigger lashes. And I was like, girl, I got this. She wants thicker lashes, but obviously I don't have to do what she said, but she said, you know, if you really want to channel the 1920s, I'm like, all right, so I'll definitely try it. I'm going to be changing up my makeup routine anyway, cause I want to try out different products as I mentioned, so why not? I'll test it out, you know, um, just when I'm sitting at home, the days I work from home, I can just wear whatever makeup I want. So I'll give that a try. I also got the new Lancome Audacity palette, and it is beautiful. Um, it has 16 shades, but it's 68 bucks too. So I'm actually going to be trying to use this for the bridal look or my Laura, Merc Laura Mercier artist, eye artist, artist, eye art artist palette, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Um, but I'm still deciding on the lashes. I bought three pairs of the Lotus lashes, the mink ones, and, in, and then today I wore the Ardell Demi Wispies, and I don't know. So let me know if you guys have some of your favorite lash styles that you think would be perfect for bridal. Also let me know what kind of lip color you guys recommend. What the heck, right? And, um, also tell me if you like the hairstyle. Be nice. It is my wedding day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and make sure to tune in next week for the Wedding Wednesday video again. Um, we have 10 weeks left, so there will be 10 more, and then we may take a little break, and then I'll come back and talk about the wedding day and like reflect on it after the wedding. Thanks for watching. Bye.